What's up guys, how's it going? This video is a follow-up video to my water pump that I built a few months ago. The water pump was a converted jet pump to V-belt and I ran it off of an induction motor. So I want to show you now that I've hooked up a 24 volt DC motor to it. So now the pump will run off of batteries. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, well, this is just a temporary setup here. I'm just testing it out. So this isn't the way it's going to be permanently. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on with 12 volts and I'm going to turn it on with 24 volts and we're going to see how it works. So we'll make sure the pump is primed up. And it looks like it is. I have the motor hooked up to one 12 volt battery. It's primed up and I'm just going to turn it on now. So that's with 12 volts, and you can see that's not really pumping the way it should be. Water's cold, that's for sure. It's 32 degrees out today, so that water is nice and cold. What I'm gonna do now is hook up another battery so we have the full 24 volts. Let's see how much pressure we get then. Two batteries here and they're now connected in series so we're going to get the 24 volts so up here we're going to have 24 volts going to the motor we'll come over here and this will be the full power of the motor so let's see how this works oh yeah look at that <laughs> now it's rocking Twenty-four volts is the way to go with this motor. Here you can see lots of pressure. And the belt's not very tight, so that's why it's wiggling around like that. So now I need to put the cooling fan on this because this motor is going to overheat. You feel the pump, the wind coming out of the pump fan. It doesn't make much noise. You can see that it it's pretty quiet. See that it's filling that container pretty quick. So what's it all made of? Well, I have a jet pump here that has been converted to belt drive. You can check out my other video, which goes more in detail about how I did that. And I also have a 24 volt DC lawnmower motor. The motor was out of a rechargeable lawnmower that the battery went in the lawnmower and they just didn't want to replace the battery because it was a hundred bucks so they just threw out the lawnmower. Take off the cover and we'll check out the motor and there it is. It's a permanent magnet motor you can see the magnets right here and it's a fairly large motor you can see the commutator very large uh, commutator and brushes so there's very thick windings on the armature you can see here and then we have a relay. This is a very heavy duty relay. You can see here it's 100 amps, 30 volts. So that's quite a, a high current relay. So the reason why they have to use this is because this motor is such a low voltage. It's only 24 volts. We have a lot of current here. So we wouldn't be able to turn this mower on from a switch up at the handle. The hook up this motor is very, very simple. We have two wires on the motor here. And basically it's even marked for you. There's a negative and a positive on one side. So we have two wires coming out of the motor and then basically you could just run those wires to a switch. But what I've done is I've wired them to a relay here. The motor is connected to this relay here and then to the switch. So we flick the switch, the relay trips, and then the current goes from the battery to the motor here. So we have the two batteries over here and basically they're connected in series if we wanna run this on 24 volts. Now the relay I'm using is only 12 volts, so that's why I'm connected just to the one battery for the relay. So you can get a 24 volt relay or a 12 volt. You don't have to use a relay at all if you don't want to. You can just use a switch, heavy duty switch. I'll hook up those batteries to the homemade solar panels here, and these panels will then charge the batteries. So if you wanna use this pump as a normal pump, then you're gonna to have to hook up the pressure switch over here. Now I have it hooked up to this induction motor here, but I can disconnect that and I can now connect it to our 24 volt motor here. So basically all I have to do is connect it to the switch here 
and then run it over to the pressure switch. Pressure switch is pretty simple. Once this builds up pressure, it then pulls up these contacts. So once we get to the desired pressure, let's say 30 pounds, then these contacts lift. Now basically these just make the contacts from the 120 volts AC going into uh, the switch here. So we have a hot and a neutral. And in the middle here, we have the two pump wires. So we have the hot and neutral of the pump. So basically, once this is down, the pump's on. When it builds up pressure, this pulls up and, and disconnects the pump. So we can use this with this automotive relay here, and or we could use the relay that was inside of the lawnmower, the 30 volt relay, it doesn't really matter. So basically all we have to do is hook up one wire to here, one wire to here from the switch, and then when this thing builds up pressure, the pump motor will then shut off. So it'll work just like a regular pump. Pulley here is just off of a normal induction motor. You can see over here that this motor has one as well. And basically this have an Allen key and you can just stick that right onto the end of this one here. And so you might have to file it a little bit to get the pulley on, but other than that, it's pretty simple. So none of this is permanent. It's all temporary. It's just test phases. I'm making this video here because I think there's some useful information for people that have, an, let's say, an off-grid cottage or they have a hunt camp somewhere remote and they have a well, but they just don't have uh, the hydro to pump the water. They'd have to use a generator. Unfortunately, generators are loud. Uh, you have to buy fuel. So with this setup here, you could then charge the batteries over here with solar panels. So I don't make these videos because I think there's going to be a doomsday event. There's no zombie apocalypse coming, but you, you never do know if something happens, a long-term power outage for, let's say, a week or so. Basically, I'm just doing this to share some information. Well, guys, that was the water pump with the 24-volt lawnmower motor, and thank you for watching.